Welcome. The Nevada Local Technical Assistance Program, or LTAP, created this video to help you recognize and prepare for winter dangers. If you work in an area with harsh winter conditions, such as low temperatures, snow, and ice, or in a remote location, this video is for you. The best way to avoid cold weather stressors, such as frostbite and hypothermia, is to stay warm and dry. Dressing in layers is the first step. In fact, dressing in three layers keeps you warmer than dressing in one heavy layer because three layers are better at trapping heat. More layers also mean greater flexibility and mobility, providing better control and balance in slippery conditions. Did you know that we lose body heat 25% faster when we are wet? Your own sweat, as well as damp outdoor conditions, accelerate heat loss. So wear a moisture-wicking fabric near the skin, a water-resistant layer in the middle, and a waterproof layer on top. Remove a layer when you feel warm, and add a layer when you feel cold. Keep your head warm, dry, and wear a knit mask to cover your face. Your nose is particularly susceptible to frostbite. Protect hands and feet with two layers, an insulating inner layer and a water-resistant outer layer of wool or engineered materials. Wear insulated and waterproof boots. By the way, if you use hand or foot warmers, don't place them directly on your skin. Insert the warmers between the two layers of your gloves or socks. As you're bundling up, make sure personal protective equipment, or PPE, fits properly with your winter gear. Another way to prevent cold weather woes is to eat nutritious meals and frequent high energy snacks, since your body needs the extra calories to stay warm. And don't forget to hydrate. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, very cold weather can cause physical injury or illness. It doesn't take long for our bodies to cool down to a dangerous level when cold temperatures, wind, and precipitation combine. Frostbite typically occurs in the extremities and can be identified by red skin with gray or white patches, numbness, skin that feels firm or hard, and possibly blistering. If you suspect frostbite, don't rub the affected area. Move somewhere warm, remove wet clothing, and cover the affected body part loosely with warm layers. Seek medical attention as soon as possible. Hypothermia occurs when the body temperature drops to dangerous levels. Be aware of early signs, such as severe shivering or raised blood pressure, so you can go to the job site's designated warming area to increase your body temperature immediately. As body temperature continues to drop, it becomes more difficult to diagnose ourselves. Watch out for co-workers who seem to lose coordination and become disoriented, as these are signs of moderate to severe hypothermia. They may hallucinate or become combative, so be prepared for a co-worker to deny needing help. If you see these signs, call for help immediately. Meanwhile, make sure your co-worker is dry and concentrate on warming the core of their body. If they are alert and capable, give them warm, sweet beverages no caffeine or alcohol, and a calorie-dense snack, such as trail mix. This all sounds very serious, and it is, but it is possible to prevent problems and stay safe in the field. Supervisors must create a work and warming schedule. All employees should follow the schedule to prevent cold weather distress or illness. Know whom to contact on the work site when an emergency arises. Blizzards or whiteouts, remote work sites, and vehicle malfunctions or crashes can leave you stranded in dangerous conditions and terrain. When you need to hit the road in winter, make sure your vehicle is well-maintained and filled with gas whenever you leave the shop. Leave an itinerary and expected time of return with a responsible person. And carry a survival kit. Survival basics vary, depending upon your location and mode of travel. Review the checklists with this video as a starting point for stocking your own survival kit. If you find yourself stranded in an unknown or distant location, stay with the vehicle. Keep the vehicle cleared so it's visible. Stay warm by running the engine for just a few minutes each hour, but only if the exhaust pipe is clear and the car is properly ventilated. If you are reasonably certain you can safely find help, make sure you have GPS capabilities or a compass and are properly dressed. Remember, we get confused and disoriented when body temperature decreases. Working in winter can be challenging, but with preparation and teamwork, as well as the right gear, you can be safe in cold weather. Be sure to access the checklists and resources that accompany this video. Stay safe.